I think there's a number of areas that will surprise people who pick up the book. Uh, the, perhaps the most surprising area is, is, is how the book begins. I don't start off with a, a lengthy prolegomena about trying to prove that there is a God or discussing d different types of philosophies that compete with the Christian worldview. For me, in an evangelical theology, the first thing you do is define the gospel. So straight away, kaboomba langa, we're straight into immersing readers into the gospel. This is why we are Christians. This is why we are in the race of faith. This is, this is where we're going to begin our theological education, by getting into the gospel. And then we show how that articulates itself in a Christian worldview, how it permeates every area of theological discourse. So straight away, we're having a gospel experience as we begin the book. A second surprising area is where I put the doctrine of Scripture. Now, some people like to have the doctrine of Scripture at the front of the book is the very first thing that they discuss. Uh, but I think the doctrine of Scripture should be somewhere between the doctrine of the Holy Spirit and the doctrine of the church. Now, that's probably a, a pretty odd thing for some people. It might be causing a, a cerebral me meltdown uh, as they hear that. But ultimately, end of the day, Scripture is the Holy Spirit speaking to us in human words. And I think if we're really going to grapple with the doctrine of Scripture properly, uh, then it's got to be a subset of the doctrine of God specifically, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>